Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now let's start with question number four. I have given okay, fine. All right, so over here again, we have a triangle. Okay, let's do one thing. Mm -hmm. Avni, can you explain to uh, all of us how this question will be done? Ma'am, which one? The fourth question. Ma'am, I don't have the textbook right now. Okay, let me share my screen then. Ma'am, I have the textbook. Can I? Yes. You have the textbook? Okay. Ah, so you want to do it? Fine. You do this one, the next one of will. Yes, Prishita. So guide us how to do this. Uh, you keep dictating and I will write it over here on the whiteboard screen. You all are able to see my whiteboard screen? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So you keep dictating and I will write it in the on the whiteboard screen. So, ma'am, in this question, it's shown that triangle ABC, uh, in which altitudes BE and CF are okay. Yeah, they are uh, to the sides AC and AB, and both of them are equal. And we have to show that triangle ABE and uh, triangle ACF are congruent. So, first, when we are solving this, we so this uh, is know just that the. Uh... This is just the reverse of the previous uh, question, right? In the yeah. previous question, what did we have? We had, it was a, given to us C, that uh, they a, are both equal sides, that it's an isosceles yeah. triangle. And we had to show that the altitudes are equal. And yeah, in this now question, we have the altitudes is, equal. Hmm, the altitudes are equal. And we have to show that AB is equal to AC. So, yeah, congruent. So now we have the basis equal and uh, two of the angles are equal, which is 90 degrees. Okay. And First of angle... all, we write what all is given. Okay. Given. Yeah. What all is given that uh, angle ACB is equal to angle AFC is equal to 90 degrees. And what else is given? Uh, BE is equal to C F. Then what do we have to do? You are muted. You're on mute. Ma'am, you wrote A C B. It's A E B is equal to A F C. A E B. Okay. And, and uh, so angle A is uh, common. First of all, you have to get these things clear. Okay. Yeah. You have to write what is given. You have to write what is uh, to show. Yeah. I'm going to triangle ACF. Okay. Then. Angle A is uh, hmm. common. Okay. So by AAS, uh, both of these triangles are congruent. Angle A is equal to angle A. Then what else? So by AAS, both of these triangles are congruent. What else do we have? Achha, wait a minute. Let me just redraw these things. Okay. Okay, I will just copy and paste it over here. Okay. So here we have this is A, B, E. So in this, we are given that um, B, E, is equal to CF 
and this angle is common and this uh this angle is also same angle so by aas both yes. of these okay. triangles are congruent therefore by aas they are congruent okay then by cpct AB uh, equals AC. AC. Okay. Any doubt in this question? Anyone? No, ma'am. Okay. Riyaz, Abdul Jabbar, Munir, Zain. No, ma'am. No. Zain, why is your video not on? Okay, the fifth one was given to you guys as homework, so we are, we won't discuss that. If anyone wants to discuss this question, okay, just take a look at this question. For those of you who haven't done the homework, just take a look at the question and tell me if there's uh, something that you think should be discussed in this. See, you have this triangle and this triangle. <laughs> there are two isosceles triangles on the same base, but these two triangles are not congruent to each other, okay? They're like this. This is A, B, C, and this is D. They are saying that this side is equal to this side. This side is equal to this side. And uh, yeah, that's it. So they are saying that you have to show that Angle ABD, which is this one, is equal to angle ACD, which is this one. How do you think this should be done? Avni, you had done the homework. Yeah. Tell us how this, how you did this. So uh, we have to draw an imaginary line between them, between A and D, to connect mm -hmm. both the both the uh, angles. So after that, uh, we can take three, like you said, right? We have to take any three things which are common. So uh, AB is common. AB is equal to AC because it's given in the question, and hmm. uh, BD is equal to BC. Hmm. That is also given in the question, and uh, so, so one minute. Yeah, and uh, we, when we drew, uh, drew the imaginary line, so AD is also AD is equal. Yeah, AD is equal to AD because it's a uh, common arm. Oh, common side. Yeah, common side. Mm -hmm. Arm, we say when we are talking about angles. Like if we have two angles like this, this is one mm -hmm. angle, this is another angle, then this one, the arm in between becomes a common arm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, by C, so therefore they are congruent. Okay, I'm not writing the entire thing. This was homework, so you all are supposed to do this. Uh, so, uh, so, by SAS. Yes, by, so by not, SAS. not SAS. This will be SSS. This is a side. This is another side. This is the third side. So by SSS, yeah. they are congruent. And, and this by is what you SAS as well. Okay, which two angles are equal? Uh, angle B and angle C. That is to show. We have to show that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So by SSS, these two are congruent. Therefore, by CPCT, those two angles are equal to each other. Fine. Okay, next one, who will do? Abdul Jabbar, you'll do the next one. Question number six. Hmm. Abdul Jabbar? No, I didn't do this. It's okay. Uh, you can do it now. N none of them have done this question. The homework question was only question number five. This one is new for everyone. Okay, first read the question, Abhi Jabbar. Hmm. Abdul Jabbar, don't keep us waiting.
Okay, fine. Abdul Jabbar, be prepared for the next question. Okay, I will ask you the next question, and don't leave the meeting when it comes to the next question. This one, let's let's have Zain do this one. Abdul Jabbar, you do the seventh one. Okay, is that okay, Abdul Jabbar? Yes or no? Okay. Okay, fine. Zain, yes. Please help us with the sixth one. <clears throat> yes, you are muted. Uh, and the ABC is an isosceles triangle. Hmm. So ABC is an isosceles triangle. Then, uh, in uh, which hmm. AB equal AC? Okay. Side BA is uh produce to d okay such that ad so, equal ab just a minute then okay so this is a b c let us make sense of each and every piece of information that they are telling us okay so they are saying ab is equal to ac then they are saying that ab is produced meaning extended to a point d now where how can we extend it we can extend it till here also right we can extend it this d d could be here also we can yeah. we can say no no we are not stopping here let's extend it further let's extend it till here but d can be here also so what is the what is the condition that they are telling us they are saying that it is produced a to a point b such that a. yeah such that the distance of a from d is the same as from b and c so it's going to be somewhat like this okay fine so this is our this is our d and this is dc ha huh. then then continue yes then you are muted ha huh? uh, ad equal ab okay so ad is equal to ab that means this side is also equal to both of the other side ad uh, ab and ac then show that angle bcd is a uh, is a right angle okay so then think about it for a minute how do you think we can show this you have to show that this angle is a right angle this angle you have to show hmm Think about it. ABC equal AD. Yes, then. Ah, uh, ABC equal AD. You are saying <clears throat> the triangle ABC. Are you saying it is congruent to the triangle uh, ADC? It's not necessarily congruent. How can we show that it's congruent? Can you prove that it's congruent? Yes. If you want to prove it as congruent, you have only one thing, which is two sides are equal. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. Anyone else? You all have noted down the question, right? okay then what can we do here we have done a similar question in i think it was the lines and angles chapter just a second i just got a clue but uh, i'm just trying to connect all of it okay It's okay. Take your time. No hurry. Oh. 
Let's forget about the fact that we have to show it is 90. Okay, maybe it is the 90 degrees that is confusing you. Forget about 90 degrees. And one more hint I'll give you is that you don't have to show that they are congruent because you don't have anything to show that it's congruent. You need three things, right? One, two, three. You need three points. But over here, you have only one point, which is this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side. That's it. You don't have anything else. So instead of trying to prove that it's they are congruent because they are not congruent, let's try something else. Um, now, remember that since we are we want to find out something about an angle, let's look at the angles of uh, this triangle, okay? Triangle ABC, look at the angles of this triangle. Since it is an uh, isosceles triangle, what can we say about these two angles B and C? Opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles are equal. Okay. So this is a hint I've given you all. Now think about it for some time. Now think, can we do the same thing somewhere else also? How can we proceed from here? Um, I understood it. Okay. So, what idea uh, do you have? Hmm. we will also do the same with the next uh, triangle, triangle ACD, because uh, both the sides are same. So, yes. both the angles, uh, angle C and D will also be sim uh, same. Also be equal then? Uh, Ma'am, then uh, CAB plus, uh, yeah, so uh, both these triangles make up to 180 degrees. And uh, both the angles are same, like hmm. uh, BC and uh, CD. So, uh, in both the cases, we will have C angle CA, yeah, angle CAB and angle CAD is equals to 180 degree minus 2 angle ACB and 180 degree okay. minus 2 Fine. C ACD. Hmm. Okay, so let's do uh, let's do the numerical part now. See, let's for simplicity sake. See, we know that um, you can write it like this, okay? The angles and property in triangle ABC. Okay, now we're looking only at the smaller triangle, yeah. triangle ABC. Angle ABC, which is this one, this angle, yeah, will be equal to angle ACB. Why? Yes. Since isosceles triangle. Ha. Angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Fine. Let's call it X, okay? Let's call both of them X. So this is also X and this is yeah. also X. So if this is X, this is X. Now again, in triangle A, two X, C, D. In triangle ACD also, we can do the same thing, right? Yeah. We can say that angle ADC, this one, is equal is to this one. To, yeah. Is equal to angle ACD. Really? Again, because they are uh, angles opposite to equal sides. So, since yeah. angles opposite to equal sides are equal yeah okay now okay we'll so since by. they are both equal okay mm, all right we cannot call it x okay um, and we, we can, can just... call them y yeah okay fine let's call them y let's call them y because it's it's get it gets a little confusing writing the same yeah. thing over and over again okay so let's just call them y so and all of and these why? angles add, uh, add up to 180 degrees. So why do they add up to 180 degrees? First of all, now we need two things. We need to focus on two different triangles. Yeah. In fact, three different triangles. How many triangles do you all see here? There are three triangles, three. right? Yeah. This is one triangle. What's happening to the... 
Okay, no mind. This is one triangle. This is another triangle. And the third one is the one that you the get when one. you add both of them. So, yeah. in this triangle, in triangle ABC, you have X plus X plus angle, angle A. BAC or A yeah. is equal to 180, right? Angle sum property. Yeah. Yes. We are going to call it equation 1. Yeah. <clears throat> Then again, the same thing in angle, the pink angle is, sorry, pink triangle as well. Yeah. Y plus Y plus uh, angle, angle D A C. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to write angle A. Why? Because angle A in this triangle means something and angle A in the other triangle means something else. Yeah. They're not the same. This is different from this. So we won't write A, okay? If you're talking mm -hmm. only about one triangle, there's no other triangle uh, involved over there, then you can very safely say A. But over here, it will be a little uh, Confusing. tricky. Yes. So this is again equal to 180 degrees by because angle. Angles property. And property. Is this clear till here for everyone? Yes. It's nothing complicated here. It's very simple. We have just applied angles and property in both of the triangles. Then is it clear, dear? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, let's do angle... one thing. Let's add up the first and the second equation. Okay, let's add them up. Yeah. Let's see what we'll get. So, x plus x, when you add two equations, what you're going to do is add the left-hand side also and the right-hand side. So, left-hand side, yeah. you will add with the left-hand side. Right-hand side, you will add with the right-hand side. So, x plus x plus BAC plus, now the left-hand side of the second equation y plus y plus dac angle dac is equal to now you add the right hand degrees. side of both the rhs of both the equations 180 plus 180 which is 360 yes so now x plus x becomes 2x 2x y plus y becomes 2y 2y okay and now angle... look very carefully at what is angle bac plus angle dac Angle BAC is this one, okay? Look very carefully over here. If you don't pay attention, you might not understand what the next step we're going to take. So, angle BAC. Just a minute. I like to color code things so that you all can understand it better. So, angle BAC is this one. Then, angle DAC is this one. Over here. Yeah. They together make up angle A. Yeah. So what? No, they don't make up angle A. They make angle B, A, D. Okay, now can someone tell me what will be the measure of angle B, A, D? 180 degrees. 180 degrees because it is a straight line. Straight line. So B, A, C plus uh, D, A, C is 180 degrees. Okay, and the R, H, S is what? It is 360. The reason over here, please don't get confused why we wrote this. Angle BAC plus angle DAC is equal to 180 degrees since it is a straight line. Okay. Anyway, so now we get two times. Can I take two common over here? Yes. Then X, X plus, plus Y. y. Is equal to 360 minus 180, right? We yeah. sent 180 to the other side of the equation. Yes. 360 minus 180 is 180. Yeah. So that means 2 times x plus y is 180. So x plus y becomes Equals 180 by 2, which is 90 degrees. So yeah. what is x plus y? x plus y is nothing B, but C, D. Yes. So angle B, C, D is equal to X plus Y is equal to 90 degrees. Yes. Please note this down, those who haven't yet, and then let me know when you're done.
Abdul Jabbar dan Are you all done? I'm one minute. Yes, ma'am. So, ma'am. Okay. Achha, okay. Please uh, complete it then quickly. Achha, one more thing is that we need to have some ethics, right? That when we are in a class and when the teacher is asking us something, the least we can do is reply. And I'm not asking a very difficult question. I'm just asking yes or no. So you're supposed to reply to the teacher. Or even if, you, if you're not able to unmute yourself, you're supposed to write, write it in the chat box. These are just some basic things which you might need later in life as well. I'm done. Okay. So this kind of a question can come uh, for three marks. For one mark, you get equation one. For, the, for one mark, you get equation two. And for the third, you get this one to find the final answer. Okay. So we are moving ahead. Anyone who hasn't completed, just let me know so that we can move ahead. Done. Done. Okay. Now, Zen. Uh, okay, no, you have already uh, read the sixth one. Abdul Jabbar, can you please read the seventh one? Yeah. ABC is a right angle triangle in which angle A equal to 90 degree and AB equal to AC. Find angle B and C, angle C. Okay. It is a... Okay, so this is a... Um, can I? Acha, you want to do this? Yes. Just a minute, Preshita. Um, Abdul Jabbar, do you know how to do this question? Hmm? I don't know how to do it. Okay, you don't, no problem, no problem. So we'll do it together, okay? Uh -huh, Preshita. So ma'am, it's given that uh, angle A is 90 degrees and AB is equals to AC. Okay, so let's write that first. Angle A is 90 and AB is equal to AC. Which uh, hence further proves that angle B equals angle C. Okay, angle B is equal to angle C. So, no. since AB is equal to AC, therefore, uh, angle B equal is equal to angle, angle C. C. And reason being, again, you can write that since yeah. angles opposite to opposite to both sides. Huh. Then, Prishita? Yeah. So, uh, then, ma'am, we we'll use the angle sum property. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. And then we we'll just substitute the values. Hmm. So, um, so can, we call this as x? can we call this as x? It will be a little easier for us to do yeah. the calculation. Yes. Okay. Is equal to x. Fine. So, yeah. angle sum property means 90 plus angle plus, B plus uh, angle C. C equals 180 degrees. Okay. 90 degrees plus B and C both are x, right? Yeah. So, 2x. So 90 degrees plus 2x equals 180 degrees. Then? Yeah. 
then 2x equals 90 degrees and uh, x equals 45. Therefore, angle B and angle C is uh, equals to 45 degrees. Okay, so angle B and angle C are both equal to 45 degrees. 45 degrees each. So this is a standard result that you must remember. Uh, this, this is something we use very often, okay? So whenever you have an isosceles right angled triangle, then automatically you will know that the other two angles will be 45 each. So this is something yes. you'll have to remember, okay? Don't forget this. That when you have an isosceles right angle triangle, then the other two angles will be 45. Yes, ma'am. Similarly, the eighth question as well. Okay, yeah. does anyone else want to try the eighth question? It's very easy. In fact, it's easier than the seventh one. Yeah. Does anyone want to try it? No one. Avni, how about you? Um, can I? Just a minute, Rishita. Avni, yes, do you want to try this? Yes, ma'am. I'll try. Huh. So tell us how to do this now. So I I think because it's an equilateral triangle, so all sides will be equal. So we can... um. So, uh, all sides will be equal. Okay. Then... Yeah. Then... We can take it as three variable. Three, uh, yeah, three x is equal to uh, three x is equal to sixty. I guess. So three what x equals to one eighty. Yeah. And See, uh, what to do Mom, here? Is, let's say you have A B C. Yeah. Okay, Prashita. So since it's uh, it's given that it's an equilateral triangle, which hmm. uh, further leads us to uh, like all the angles of the triangle are equal, so we will all we will consider mm. it as x with the same variable. So three x mm. equals one eighty degree and x equals sixty degree. Hence okay. proved. So, uh, the first step that since it's an equilateral triangle, so what we do? Let's just consider. See, all three sides are going to be equal because it's an equilateral triangle. But let's do one thing. For now, let's focus only on these two these two uh, sides, AB and AC. So, because of these two sides, these two angles will be equal, right? Okay. Yes. Now, if you forget about this side and focus on these two sides, if you want, you can rotate your device as well. Um. So, in in these two sides, these are opposite sides, right? So, angles opposite to uh, equal sides are equal. That means this angle will be equal to this angle. Yes, because these two sides are equal. So these two angles will be equal. Now, that means this angle A will also become this angle itself. Let's call it X. If you want to call it X, you can call it any other thing as well. So that means if angle A is equal to angle B, and already we know that angle B is equal to angle C, that means all three are equal to each other. Right? So that is how we can arrive at uh, all three angles are equal to each other. Okay. So uh, let's let's write it over here. Let's see how to write it. Okay. AB is equal to AC. Therefore, angle B is equal to angle C. Also, AC is equal to BC. So now you have to focus only on AC and BC. Therefore, angle A is equal to angle B. From 1 and 2, we have angle A is equal to angle B, which is also equal to angle C. So they are all equal to each other. Is equal to X. Say it's equal to X, okay? Let it be equal to X. That means X plus X plus X equals 180. So that means 3X equals 180. 
that means x equals 60 180 by 3 which is 60 okay let me just write this. fine so we're done with uh, this exercise any doubts in this exercise anyone okay let's do another question uh, if you all are done can we move yes please uh, one minute okay okay sure And what does ST means? Such that. I was just going to read it. So if you all are done, uh, Zen, done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I'm going to read this question out first. So they are saying AB is a line segment. So first, let's draw a line segment. Sentence by sentence, we will read it. AB is a line segment. So we are going to draw a line segment AB. Then what is the next sentence? P and Q are points on opposite sides of AB. That means P and Q are two points, but they are not on the same side of AB. They are both on opposite sides of AB. So this is, let's say, P. And this point is Q. Now the thing is, you can put P and Q anywhere, right? You can put the, this also as Q. But they are saying such that so this ST is short form for such that uh, our points on opposite sides of, sides of AB such that each of them is equidistant from the points A and B. What does that mean? P, so this is AB. P is equidistant from A and B. That means P cannot be somewhere like this. Why? Because then the distance between PA is this and PB is this. The distance between them is not the same. PA and PB is not the same. But they are saying that P is in such a position that PA, the distance from P to A is same as the distance from P to B. So we can put P over here such that PA is equal to PB. Okay, this is equal to this. And similarly, the same thing for Q, that Q is also in such a position that it is at equal distance from A and B. So basically QA, the distance QA will be equal to the distance QB. Okay, now the next part of the question says, write it, show that the line PQ is the perpendicular bisector of AB. I have not drawn it very symmetrically, but you can get the idea. So this is your PQ. Fine. Now we have to show that it is a perpendicular bisector. What is the meaning of perpendicular bisector? If I say that it forms a 90 that, degree and intersects the line. We have to show that PQ is perpendicular to AB, meaning that angle A, uh, which is this, this one, okay? Let's call this point as D, if you want. Angle AD 
P is equal to 90 degrees. And so obviously if angle ADP is 90, then the rest of these angles will also be 90. That's obvious. We can just write one of the angles, it's fine. And then the second point we have to show that AD is equal to BD. So we have to show two things. And what all is given to us? We just given two things. AP uh, equals BP yes. and now. Okay, wait. Uh, Zen. Zen, unmute, please. Yeah. Zen, please tell us how can we show that uh, PQ, okay, forget about perpendicular to AB. How can we show that AD, which is this one, is equal to BD, which is this one? Can we take two triangles as congruent? If yes, which two triangles? Zen. Just a minute, Prashita. Just a minute. Yes, then. Please unmute yourself. Uh, uh, ADP and uh, BDP. Okay. So you're saying ki we can take ADP, this triangle, and BDP, which is the other one, this one. Yes? Yes. Then, okay. So in this, uh, in these two triangles, in these two triangles, this one and this one, what all do you have as same? Um, both the sides, PA and PB, and then the both the ninety degrees, hmm. and the common side. Ma'am. Yes, Avni. Ma'am. If so, if it's a uh, perpendicular bisector and mm -hmm. it's bisecting the the shape into two equal halves, so won't AD and uh, DB already be equal? Because no, no, no. You it's not given that it's a perpendicular bisector. You see, you have to show to that it's a perpendicular it. bisector. Yeah. Okay. So, Mom, but, yeah. uh, hmm. we cannot exactly use both of these triangles as congruent okay why not because they cannot be proven uh, congruent yes why because then because uh, there is have... no property such as ssa we have one angle over here and we have this side over here so what we what do we have we have f a but then the other angle sorry the other side is way over here yeah. The side that was supposed to be equal should have been this one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Then, what else? So, ma'am, uh, PAQ and PBQ. Yes. So let's let's choose these two. Just a minute. PAQ and PBQ. So PAQ is this one oh never mind this one and pbq is this one ma'am yes avni ma'am in the question it is given that angle adp is 90 so won't the it's other not angle... given. It's not given, dear. In sign. the question, we have to show that angle ADP is 90. Okay, okay. What all is given, I have written over here. See, this is why we are supposed to write what is given very clearly. And we're supposed to write it in the beginning of the question itself. So that we don't have any confusions later on. Okay, so what all is... Only two things are given to us and that we have written. So, okay, these two triangles. Now, then... Uh... So now we have uh, 
ए पी इक्वल्स बी पी एंड ए क्यू इक्वल्स बी क्यू कॉमन PQ equals PQ common. So by SSS. Yeah. By SSS rule, they are common. Both these. Yeah. Therefore, okay. Now, what we had to show, we had to show AD equals BD. Now, how do yeah. we show that? for this we need to go back to what zen had told us he had said we have to take these two triangles so at that step we did, we couldn't take these two triangles at that step we couldn't take but now we can take why because since these two triangles are congruent we have this angle will be equal to this angle yeah. by cpct yes so therefore yes. by CPCT angle APD will be equal to angle BPD. Okay. Now this is this is um, equal. We can call this equation one. Next, let's come to the two smaller triangles that we were talking about in the starting. In now in triangle apd and triangle bpd now you can use asa rule yeah so again here what do we have ap equals bp and mm -hmm, ha huh. just a minute i'll just write it a little bit down angle apc angle uh, A equals angle B, angle A P D equals is angle equals B, to angle B D. So therefore, by which rule? S A S. S A S. A S A. Yeah, A S A. By A S A rule, these two triangles are congruent. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now they are congruent, but we had to prove. So from from here, from here, we can prove that AD is equal to BD. That we can prove. Yes. Yes. But what about the ninety degrees? Like in the second one, in the first equation, we proved that. Just a minute. Ah, uh, AD equals BD by CPCT. So this is something we have shown. Yeah. So ah, uh, ADP yeah. angle ADP is equals to angle ah uh, BDP. Okay, they become equal then, and it's on a straight line. So both of them, when yes. added, is uh, equals to one eighty degree. Okay. So we can show it like this, and this is also if someone asks you that you have an isosceles triangle, show that the median of an isosceles triangle, just like I told you in the last class, show that. Uh, we saw in the previous class that a median if this is a median of an isosceles yeah. triangle then it also becomes the altitude that means this angle yes. and this angle are 90 how do you show that by this way only you first show both of these triangles to be congruent then you say okay let this be x then this will also be x why yes. because these two because, triangles yeah. are congruent 
so their corresponding parts will be equal so these two angles will be x now when x plus x give you 180 that means 2x will give you 180 so x will give you 90 so let's see it over here so angle a uh, also angle a d p okay is equal to angle b d p again by c p c t let's call it x okay you don't have to call it x but we just do it for simplicity now angle a d p plus angle b d p gives you 180 because they are linear pair it forms a linear pair adp is also x and bdp is also x so x plus x gives you 180 that means 2x gives you 180 that means x gives you 90 so we have shown that that implies pq is perpendicular to or you can say pd is perpendicular to ab and pd is perpendicular to ad means that pq is perpendicular to ad sorry ab okay any confusion any doubts still here yeah no doubts okay let's just do one last question mm, let's try to do some small questions okay fine question okay so p is a point equidistant from two lines what kind of lines are they are they parallel or intersecting they are telling us in the question they are intersecting okay so there are two lines intersecting lines l and m let's call this as l and your this one as m so your p is a point which is equidistant from them so that means maybe your p is over here equidistant from a line means see okay um equal distance let's cover this yeah let's cover this concept first you have a line okay or before line let's first talk about you have two points you have a point here and a point here distance between them is simple this is the distance between them yes but if you have a point and a line which one is the distance between them because on the on the line we know that we have studied this uh, chapter lines and angles and we know that on a line there are an infinite number of points yes there are so many points there's a point here there's a point here there's so many points on this line so distance between this point and this line let's call it l let's call this point as p what will this be equal to can someone tell me can can you repeat i am saying the distance between um we just saw that the distance between two points is simple a straight line joining those two points right yeah this yes. distance between two points but what if you have a point and you have a line how do you show that how do you know what is the distance between this point and the line is it going to be this distance is it going to be this distance this distance this distance which which distance is it the perpendicular one yes the shortest distance okay that is known that is called the distance for short you can call it perpendicular distance you can call it shortest distance in short it is called distance 
so the distance from the points to a line is where when you draw a this thing a line segment it makes a 90 degrees so this if this is your point d then pd the distance pd is called the distance between point p and line l fine so let's yeah. move on and see what this question is saying so the question is saying there is a point which is equally distant from both the lines so that point can't be over here why because the distance between the point and the line m is this much and the distance between the point and the line l is this much which is clearly not equally distant right so we need to make a point such that let me just make a 90 degree over here let me make a 90 degree over here so this is going to be your point p okay and we know that this distance what are they saying this distance is equal to this distance so yeah these two are equal that's the question that's what the question is saying that p is a point equally distant from two lines uh let's call this point as a you have to show that the line ap this line ap um ap means you have to it's line means you have to extend it like this this line bisects the angle between the other two lines just a minute okay this line ap bisects the angle between these two lines that means what is the angle between line m and l this is the angle between line m and l okay this is the angle between m and l the question is saying that the ap the red line is bisecting the blue angle that means it is dividing this these uh, this entire angle into two equal halves so yeah. this one is going to be half and this one is going to be half so we have to show to that to show that uh, we have to prove that uh, angle p a yeah so both of these triangles are uh, congruent. congruent okay we can show that very easily see what do we need to show we need to show first triangle of all uh, let's write what is given okay and ac given that congruent uh ha given that bp is equal to cp that is all that's given to us yeah. now to show that angle bap is equal to angle cap so for this we can show them as congruent acha one more thing is given see since this is a, degrees yeah this point is falling as a perpendicular on yeah. this line right because we just we just uh, showed that if this is a point and this is a line then the angle between this these two lines is going to be 90 right so this is 90 and this is also 90 so one more thing is given to us that angle b is equal to angle c is equal to 90 so now it's easy for us to show yes quickly do it in your notebooks done ma'am hmm okay so in triangle bap and triangle cap what have we written bp equals cp and angle b equals angle c equals 90 degrees you also have to mention the yeah uh, reason yes okay 